Welcome back to another action figure review. In this review, we're going to take a look at the new Joy Toy Dark Source 118 scale Steiner action figure. This is a packaging. Comes in, you can see the product's name at the top, Joy Toy to scale, and, um, and some Chinese there at the bottom. I really like the artwork. The front cover is pretty cool. Top of the box, we have the Joy Toy. At the bottom, we have Joy Toy. On the side here of Dark Source Steiner. On the side, the name again, and we have checking hazard warnings. Not for children under the age of three. This product is not a toy, a doll collectible. Recommended for at least ages 17 and up. On the back here, we have the product's name, Joy Toy, some kind of Chinese sticker, a product statement, and a UPC. So, uh, it's just have like a flap on the front. You can open it up, get another uh, product shot of Steiner. Looking very cool. And then you can see that he has a window box. Pretty cool. Alright. With that being said, that's going to take a look at Steiner outside the packaging. Alright, Steiner does come in a product insert. Um, it's upside down, I guess. Here are the name of the product. We have a geared up and geared down image of Steiner. Looks like you do get a lot of accessories. Um, there's an accessory list. On this side we have some precautions. And then we have a diagram on how to break down your figure. For whatever reason that you need to do that. Alright, here's Steiner outside the packaging. He looks pretty cool. Lots of armor. So let's go ahead and take a look at that head sculpt. Just say pretty much a uh, stern face. Hair is coming back. It's like a black hair. It's like this guy means business. Here we have a scarf tucked down inside there. It's pretty nice how that fills that gap around that collar. I think that worked out really well on the design process there. It's very cool. Here on his vest, we do have some pouches on each side. We have these off-white little um, pieces here. Here he has a belt. We have like a protection here in the front. Type of uh, holster here. Pouches, uh, same protection in the back. And it looks like we have a little holster here for a knife. Very cool. He does have... Uh, these shoulder pads, nice arm gauntlets that are different colors, a little black stripe there. I like the padded gloves, they look very cool. Here we have the thigh pads, we have the gun holster. We have these little red pieces here on the thigh pads. So we have knee pads. Pretty nice. Have his boots. Looks pretty decent. The back of the figure on the top, we do have these two little um, pieces here, like on his belt for his swords. And then this silver here, like down the middle of his spine. These little silver studs on his uh, plate carrier. Silver studs here throughout. One on each of these thigh pads here on the back side of that protection plate. Here looks really decent. So, here's a 360 look at him. Feels like a good quality figure. The thing I did notice is these black pieces here for his uh, knee joint. Should be the same color as the pants. For the overall aesthetic and appearance. For especially for the price of these premium figures. Now let's get to the articulation of the figure. Now if you remove his vest, obviously, you can get a lot more articulation in, in these shoulder pads. If you tuck this down, you know, you can get a, de a decent look down, up, side to side. That would increase if you remove that um, scarf piece. And then of course 360. 
ball jointed arms 360 around go up about that much depending on where the shoulder pad, pad is positioned is you're going to increase your range up uh, if this is on um, a lower position or off 360 at the elbow bendable elbows gives you just a more a little more than 90 degrees that's so very cool uh, we have the new style wrist in and out up and down all the way around on that he has some chest articulation on this plate carrier you can um, you know get that side to side up here this is more the waist that's moving on this particular um, demonstration for splits very nicely um, not too well it's not too bad that way too bad we have thigh rotation here just right there on both sides kind of hidden by the thigh pads we have a double joint knees looks very good and as for more than that now for his feet they pivot down a bit up and of course you can bring this thing around the ankle 360 if you would like and it also will give you your side to sides So he has the toe up articulation also. Pretty cool. It's a very nice figure. And nothing seems to be um, out of place. The materials feel good. Joints feel good. No complaints. Just except for the color of the joints on the back of the legs. That's it. Pretty nice. Um, kind of reminds me. Gives you kind of like a cybernetic well, not really cybernetic, but kind of like a futuristic ninja. Um, if you're, I had the thoughts of like that GI Joe retaliation, um, cyber ninja, and uh, kind of made me think about that in a way. More of a futuristic type of uh, ninja instead of like the traditional uh, geese and the uh, mask. So. Let's see what I'm talking about as we go through his accessories, which we're going to do right now. So let's start off with his helmet. Looks very cool. I like the design. Got the black on the top. We have the gray around the sides and on the upper on the mouthpiece. Just a little red there on his chin. Some white here on the sides. This is over the top helmet, so that's great. You don't have to remove his head. Fits pretty good. And this is what I'm trying to say about kind of just cybernetic, uh, futuristic ninja look. Helmet stays on. Um, the tolerances are pretty good. I think it's a nice uh, fit. Some red there on the back. Very cool. And next up he has his knife. Very unique style, unique style blade, silver black handle. We have these studs here on the uh, knife handle, if you can see that. We have his uh, finger protection here. And he uh, looks pretty cool with it. Now this is his, more of his trigger gun hand, I believe. So uh, there's alternate hands, but we we'll use this for our purposes. And then we can basically, you know, he can go hand to hand with his knife. I do like the sculpt on that knife. It's really cool. Now, that being said, um, it goes right here on this side. But I'm betting that this piece right there is going to get caught. And that's going to be really difficult to get out once you pop that through there. I can feel how tight that is, so I'm not going to do it at this point. But that's where that goes. Looks really cool. And it fits, but that's, it's going to be a little difficult to get that out of there, but um, it's not going to be too bad, I guess. Uh, I'll waste my time on the review trying to 
with a knife out of there. He does come with these two swords, black handle, and then we have this two-toned silver blade. You can see that the edges are painted a lighter silver, which is maybe a gunmetal in the center there. That's coming through or not. Really cool figure. I like the sculpt here on the blade. And then, what's really cool about this, see the little peg on the back of this ha handle here? You can, let's see if I have the right size here, put your swords together, like so. And you can make a dual bladed weapon. Very nice. And then, let's see how he holds the dual blade while we have it together with this, uh, of a trigger finger hand to anything so it does look pretty cool like that here he's holding his sword they can swap out the hands, obviously. You can give him a different set, and you can uh, use, you know, both sets of so both swords. And then, um, but he has more just open hand here. He's not really going to hold that. Or if you wanted to get one sword, one knife, you could do that also. But looks really decent. Now, what's also cool is I love when you can put all the person's weapons on the person, on the figure itself. So you come around to the back here. No, it's not, but you can slide in his swords. Now, there's no, like, no sleeth or anything, but, uh, you can put them on his back. And what's really cool about this is it kind of can sit pretty deep down, if you like, or if you like that more up, higher sword look for your figure, you can do that, too. This is a really cool figure. Lately, I'm surprised to say that because I've been having so much issues with uh, some of my Joy Toy purchases. So, next up, he has his pistol. Black with some uh, silver wash. We have silver here on the, on the front of the gun. And let's see why we hold his pistols versus his bladed weapons. There we go. Maybe. Did this knock it out? No. Pretty cool looking. I like the pistol. Kind of futuristic. And then of course we do have our pistol holster here. Um, you're going to have to get that like deep in there and push that uh, all the piece out. It's actually a softer plastic so you shouldn't have much of an issue with uh, you know, getting that to fit without breaking. Yeah, so that's not too bad. And then next up, we have his assault rifle. Black, very heavy silver wash, dry brushing, big time, especially on the on the stock, down here on the clip. Very unique type of, uh, I actually don't think this is a um, cartridge-based weapon. It's almost just like some type of laser rifle. Maybe even, a, I don't know, could be a plasma or something, I don't know. Maybe more of a laser. But you can get him to hold that with two hands fairly easy, as you've seen. He holds this weapon really well. He looks really cool with it. Say so it works for this figure. That is really, really nice. So, like I said, you can put his swords in.
kind of push it out a little bit because of the other one overlaps. And then obviously you can stick his knife in here. Well, I pushed it through. And it does catch it, but you can pop it out. Which we're not going to worry too much about. So here he is all geared up. Super awesome. Oh, this is a cool figure. So we have two sets of hands. So we have, uh, let's see here. We have fisted hands. I can get them on the right side. Painted to match the gloves he has. And then he has these other sets of more of a tighter grip, probably for his, you know, his bladed weapons, if you want those uh, features. Just remember, if you're going to continue to swap out hands for, obviously, you know, you got this hand here is perfect for holding his weapon on the uh, other side here. You know, you only can use that for that hand, that hand for that reason, and then you have to swap off, like, the knife or the hand-to-hand -hand combat. Um... Pretty cool. But all of his weapons, obviously, besides his extra hand, which you wouldn't want on him anyway, is on Steiner's body. He has a place for everything. That is a huge plus. Very nice. I do recommend this figure. He's very, very cool. So for price, I think of in China, on, depending if it's on sale, it's between $25, $27. And I've seen them in the United States for like between $34.99 and $39.99. So they're, because of inflation, things are, figures are getting ridiculous. I can't imagine what's going to happen to as the rain figures. I think they're pushing on more fifty nine 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 on some of the single figures, but those guys are just all over the board. But that's what you expect to pay for um, Steiner. And in this case, I think he's kind of he's worth about thirty bucks. He's an awesome figure, very cool. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, don't forget to subscribe. Lots of joy, joy toy stuff coming. Some other things. Um, like this video, like this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up for me. I really appreciate that. It helps out the channel. Comment down below, questions, comments. If you have this figure, you want this figure, I'd love to hear your opinions. Um, don't forget to share the video, hit that notification bell. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next review.